Hey, what's up guys? Back with a new video. And this time I got something exciting. Just finished doing uh, the Valheim custom seed for your dedicated server. Obviously I had some help, you know, a lot of friends out there helping me out and a uh, shout out to Lack for, uh, you know, walking me through a couple places that I just, I'm not a, not a very good coder at all. Like I like doing it. I like doing other things. I'm just not very good. But um, anyways, the new Valheim dedicated server custom seed, right? This is really cool. You can now set your custom seed of your world that you like. Maybe there's a world out there that you want, or maybe you're spinning up a multiverse Valheim server and you want to have a particular seed for that. And you don't want to do it on your game, save the file, transfer it over, do the configuration edits, whatever you need to do. Nope, this is all done here. So um, yeah, first thing we got to do is uh, download the file. So you come to my GitHub here, and uh, if you already use the menu system and you use Valheim Plus, then you can uh, pretty much just add it and then do some configurations. I will update the menu to where you can do it from there. Um, but if you're using uh, like Nexus mods or you're using something else, then you can download it there and install it as necessary. But the first thing you wanna do is come to my GitHub here. Uh, links will be in the description. And then uh, download this bad boy, right? So we come over here to releases. And then we just download this zip file. It's gonna drop it here. We're gonna to go to our downloads. We're gonna unzip it. And then we are going to open up the folder. And then we got two files in here. So one is the dynamic library uh, that you're gonna to need to put into your plugin directory within Bepinex. Be Bep Did I say it finally right? Bepinex. And the other one is your configuration file that you will need to edit. Um, don't worry about the zero bandwidth thing. I got really excited. I just, I have later on, I'll clean that up. So it doesn't just have my name all over it. Um, but yeah, so you want custom seed on your dedicated server. Let's do it. So we downloaded the files and now we're going to transfer the files. So I use win secure copy, um, and you log in to win secure copy. You type in your root password, you go ahead and log in, or you log in as your steam account and you log in. I prefer to log in with steam. Um, but once you get in here, it's going to drop you into the root directory here. Just go into home, go into steam, go into your Valheim server, wherever it's installed, find your Bepinex, Bepinex, gosh, it's a hard one. Uh, you can see I already have the file in here, but I'm going to take the file that we downloaded. I'm just going to drag that over to there, let it overwrite. And now that that one's there, I'm going to go into the configuration folder. If you're installing a lot of mods, typically they might have a config file and that's where they go. So we're going to take my config file, drop it in there. And now everything's good to go. But first thing we want to do is make sure we check the permissions. So we're going to go CD slash home slash steam. And then we're going to go into the Valheim server. We're going to check out that bad boy. Then we're going to go into Bepinex. I think that's how you say it. Someone's going to correct me one of these days. We're going to go into plugins and then we're going to see custom DLL is in there. Custom C DLL is in there. Now, if it was set to any other permissions, just simply type Chone Steam, Steam, and then the file name and then hit return and it's going to set it. And then we want to go check our configuration file folder, right? And we're going to view that uh, file as well. Now, if you're not comfortable with VI, uh, then you can use Nano. And if you're not comfortable with Nano, then just edit the file within Notepad and then transfer the file over if you want. But the whole thing is to try and get away from using the, the Windows environment if possible. So here in the configuration file, we have custom seed. Right now it's set to zero. So if it's set to zero, then it's just gonna go through its normal process. It'll create something random. You don't have to worry about it. But again, if you want a seed for a particular world that generates, then this is where you edit. If you're making multiverse uh, areas, then this is where you will edit as well. So we're just gonna add something in here. We're gonna say, um, Q, wait, how do you spell Q? Q, good, I don't know. Um, make sure it's more than one and 10 and below, numbers and letters. Don't add like this stuff to it, it's not gonna work. Um, don't add spaces, it's not gonna work. That's Valheim, like don't, don't, don't do that, that's, that's bad. 
So we're going to do Q good, whatever that's going to make. And then I'm going to make sure that my Valheim service is stopped. Uh, this is my dev box, so uh, I don't mind blowing stuff away for science. I think I already have it stopped. System control stop, yeah, I already do. And then we want to go into the um, the Steam directory for science. Check out the world directory. Make sure no worlds are in there. There's no worlds. All right. So let's start it up. Did it work? So we're going to go system control start Valheim server dot service. And it takes a little time, but it's going to kick through and it's going to build the the server. It's going to take the custom seed information that you put in and it's going to take that into consideration. So we're going to check out the log file as it's doing this. And you can see that the custom seed loaded. Now, if you see these errors like this, that's normal errors that you'll see if you don't have anything installed. So don't, don't ever get too wrapped up. I get a lot of questions about the debug bindings and you know, the custom whatever stuff that pops up or the ASCII, like don't, don't worry about it. Okay, we let that run long enough. Now what's really cool is now we just scroll up a little bit and we are going to find right here, look, Dedicated custom server seed, Q good. I don't know if I spelled that right. And then you can see that it gave it a hash. It did everything it needed to do. All the security, all the building, everything else. Nothing was violated. I wanted to make sure when this was wrote that it was as non-intrusive as possible. And I think we achieved that. All right, well, did it work? So now we have a whatever.wf file because that's also the name of my, um, my world name. And if I cat that file, you can see that the seed is actually in there. Let me hit return, get it up there a little bit for you. You can see, look, whatever cool dude, like it's all there. We can actually VI that file as well, just to get take a look at it. It's all there. Never edit this file, ever, 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 because there's a lot of hashing and um, you would hash and some other stuff like math. And I try to just edit this file, make it work that just, that was six hours of me wasting my time. So I wasted a lot of time so you don't have to. All right. Well, did it work? Well, let's go start Valheim and find out. Now you don't have to take this DOL file and drop it on your, um, you don't have to drop it on your, your client. So that's another cool thing. But if you have other mods, sometimes you have to have it on both. However, it is a mod, so you still need to have Valheim Plus or some other type of Bepinex install on your particular um, uh, server game. So I actually have a version of Valheim mod here for testing. I am going to open up Steam. I am going to look up my IP address because I forget it all the time because I change boxes all the time. And... We're going to log in. I'm going to hit start. We're going to join game. Join by IP address 2456. We're going to connect. It's going to ask for your password. Another super duper password. Hope I typed that right. And then we're going to be in. So while that is loading, uh, we want to check out this site right here. So what's really cool, and this will be in the description as well, you can type in your, your seed that you want. And we typed it, uh, what was it? Q, Q, good. I think that was our seed. Gosh, I forget so quickly. Oh, we typed it. I'm sorry. But this is what you get with live. Live, no edits. So uh, I want to try and make all my videos. And then we hit go. And it says we spawn right here. So we have to go straight south, see if there's C. So we're going to go straight south. And see what happens.
There's a tomb. You'll be able to see that on that particular map. And look, works like a champ. There's the sea. Just like the map shows. So yeah, 100% success. Non-intrusive, doesn't break anything. Um, and I'll keep it updated. I might push it to Valheim Plus so it's in their uh, overall install. Um, but yeah, you can get it here at Nexus Mods or you can get it uh, from my GitHub here. It's your choice. You can live your life however you want. So uh, I wanted to make this video, let you guys know, hey, you can now make custom seeds. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. And um, looking forward to seeing what people come up with. So yeah, if you haven't seen this, check it out. Oh, and then one other shout out real quick. If you are not checking this guy out on YouTube, you got to check out um, Geekhead. So I wouldn't be doing any of this if it wasn't for Geekhead. Geekhead is the person who actually got me motivated. And this is why you don't right click close out your Valheim. Because if you're also doing servers locally, you will crash your stuff. That would have crashed the database. That's a lesson learned. So if you go here, uh, Geekhead, and also Dick Justice, uh, he shows you how to do Valheim mods. This is going to um, really cool stuff. He also has a bunch of other videos. But um, for you guys that want to do learn more Linux or learn how to do stuff, you got to check this guy out. He put he posts videos all the time. He's awesome, like good stuff. But yeah, happy gaming. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you around. Later.